this is Tom Dixon. I'm on a long, long road trip today. I'm heading to the great Northeast. I'm in the middle of Tennessee, so I thought I'd give you a, a little insight into something I've been thinking about a little bit lately, and that's agendas. Everybody's got an agenda, I guess, uh, but agendas are the kind that you put in a presentation, not necessarily the kind that you print and hand out to your audience, but the kind that's in the actual presentation is a very, very cool thing. And there's some things we can talk about that I think are going to help you put together an agenda or use the agenda in your presentation to help your audience connect more with you, to help them be more comfortable with where you're taking them, what you're going to be talking about. So here's a few ideas I have. Number one, an agenda is just kind of this checklist of things that you're going to be talking about with your audience. And even in a short presentation, it's kind of a nice thing to have. You don't necessarily want to go into great detail about uh, each little item, but giving your audience an idea of where you're headed will give them some idea of, of what to look forward to and how that you're going to be engaged with the ideas that they want to be listening to or talking about later on. So an agenda, even for a short presentation, is a, I think is a great idea. But just like the presentation, keep it short and real sweet. Another thing about the agenda is you have this list, maybe a bulleted list of the things you're going to cover, and you talk about them, maybe include a half a sentence or just a phrase about each little item you're talking about. I'm going to talk about this, and this is really important because, and then we're going to talk about this, and we're going to, we're going to talk about a few problems we have with those things, uh, and then we're going to wrap it all up. Um, we're, going to, we're going to go over everything again, and, and then we'll have a question and answer period. And then after the question answer period, I've got one final point I want to leave you with, one big idea that I think will wrap the whole thing up for you and bring it all home for you. So that just kind of sets the stage for all this cool stuff that you're going to be talking to your audience about. So a bulleted list kind of a, with a little bit about each item is a great idea. And think about how great this would look on a slide. It would be something that you could talk to your audience about and show them in a graphic way or in a textural way on the slide exactly what you're going to be talking about. Okay, a couple more points. Don't give the agenda right off the bat when you're first starting your presentation. You save that for the most important thing you can talk about. Save that for the for the uh, for your big energy moment, the big thing you want to use to connect with your audience. Start off strong. Then, if you want, bring in the agenda. Bring in the agenda and, and say, uh, introduce your topic, and here's where we're going to go today with it, and then uh, launch into your the, the the meat of your presentation. Another really cool thing you can do with your agenda, and this is works especially well if you're working with PowerPoint. You have a PowerPoint agenda. Check in with your audience as you're going through. Okay, here's uh, another slide. We've covered these two things, and maybe have check marks next to those things. And here's where we're going, and now we're going to talk about this. So it's kind of a way of checking in with your audience, showing them where you are, showing them what they're, uh, what's coming up and what they want to be paying attention to. So it's a nice little courtesy, uh, a sign of respect that you can show your audience by creating an agenda, either verbal or on a slide or on, on PowerPoint. They will love it. They will feel like you are taking good care of them, and it is a real positive little tool you can put in your toolbox and use when you're creating your superstar presentation. So that's it for today. I'm on my way to uh, upstate who knows where, and I'll talk to you soon.